Get it to Smith turning. And the shot is in. Lila Hutchins gets the opening goal of the match for the Bobcats. Harrigan over there. A quick advance here. Good look for Grennan. She scores. Catherine Grennan. You could tell she was going to have the shot. It got deflected. And Karina Garfield ended up with it. But it's turned over. Dias scores. Summer Dias. With 11.24 to go. The way by Cisneros, the goalie. Allard eventually did get it on the run. Smith, she scores! 7.48 to go, first half. Quick answer for Bates. They trail by one again, 5-4. Smith, good ball, and the score! Great pass by Smith to Catherine Brennan for the finish. Now Williams, though, advancing it quickly, and Statil with a good save on Carol Wolmers. So a good job there by the senior netminder, Satil, to come up with a save. And now a long advance for Futter. Jillian Futter all the way! She scores! Jillian Futter, the sophomore, coming out of the back. A minute five. In the player up, the wrap chance and the goal by Katie Allard. And with 25-14 to go in the second half, we're back to all square at 7-7. Allard again to Dias. McMullen behind the goal, finds a cutting Smith. She scores! And Bates has its first lead of the match. Schwartz, four on the shot clock, and they score! Avery McMullen from the tough angle on the goal line as the shot clock was about to expire. Summer Dias, good ball to Schwartz. She shoots and scores! Dana Schwartz on the grounder. 8.21 left, second half. Bates is ahead again, 10-9. Pass Grennan. And a good interception that time by Kerrigan coming up from behind. Bates looks to hit on the counter with numbers. Brennan gets it to Allard for the goal. Huge interception by Caroline Kerrigan. Now Kerrigan advances into the offensive half. Schwartz on the run. They get it down low, and Allard puts it away with 2.27 left. Bates leads by three. McMullen to Dias. They work it in front, and Allard puts it home. Once again in front of goal. She one times it in with a minute five left. It's 13 10, Bobcats. It's always a really tough game against Williams, and we're just really excited to get out here on Garcon and play. Um, and I'm pretty happy that it's been four in a row that we beat Williams. Katie's so amazing, and I knew she had she had it in her to score a million goals like she always does. <laughs> and we couldn't have done it without her. Williams really scares me. They have some very good athletes who are just great players. And, you know, I think if you let them get on a run, they can really hurt you. Um, and in the first half, we kind of gave them a little bit of momentum, and we were luckily able to keep them close so we could catch up and then overtake them.